You can use your weaving or punch needle skills to create a beautiful pouch with lots of texture. Adding a lining is optional, but it helps the inside to look extra polished. Start by stretching your foundation cloth if you are punching. I am using Monk's cloth. Print out the template that you will find in the blog post linked in the description below. Cut out your paper template along the lines and lay it on your Monk's cloth and outline it with a pen. Flip the template and outline the other side as well. You can fill in the project with any design that you want. If you want to copy the stars design that I created, you can freehand them or you can trace them from the template by marking straight onto your monk's cloth. Any lines will get covered up by yarn. Now, punch, punch, punch. Choose your colors and your punch lengths. You can learn all about punch needle in my punch needle class, which will help you with this part and teach you all the techniques you need to know. When you are done punching, use a craft glue to outline a thin half an inch border around the outside of the entire pattern and let it dry completely. Make sure to spread the glue out so that it is flat instead of thick and gloppy. This will stop the edges of your cloth from unraveling when you cut and sew it. Cut out your project along the edge of the glue border. You can see now that one side is flat and one side is bumpy. You can choose which side to use as the front of your pouch, but the bumpy side is more durable. You can use any fabric for lining. I am using a velvet. Trace the same template onto the lining and cut a half inch border around the outline. Get a 14 inch zipper and some sewing pins. Mark the center of each end of the punch design, the center of the zipper, and the center of the lining. Place the punch design face up and the zipper face down, lining the center points. Pin them together. Move around the top edge, pinning one side of the zipper in place. It helps to cut slits in the zipper around the curves. Open your zipper and remove one side if you are able so that it's easier to sew. My zipper is stuck together, so I'm going to leave one side hanging. You can sew the lining at the same time, or sew just the zipper first, and then add the lining. For this side, that is what I'm doing, one after the other. So I am sewing on the zipper, then I am pinning the lining face down, and then sewing along the zipper again. On the other side, however, I do them all at the same time, and I end up preferring that, so you can sew them all together instead of one after the other if you want. Pin the center of the other side of the punch design to the center of the zipper and the center of the lining. The punch design should be facing up while the zipper and the lining are faced down. If your zipper comes apart, it is easier to sew this. I kept my zipper together, which made the corner difficult to sew so I ended up hand sewing that last inch near the zipper head. When both sides are sewn together, pull the project inside out through an opening on the edge. Turn it so that the lining is on the outside. Zip up the bag halfway while it's turned so that you can still reach the zipper inside. Fold the edges of the openings together in a flat line along the bottom and sew them. The punch needle made this seem very thick, so my pins were too short to help, and I hand sewed them closed on either end. When both sides are sewn up, unzip the pouch and turn it right side out. That's it! Your punch needle pouch is complete.